What's good? It's your girl, Brittany T. Shout outs to Jesse B. I'm here rocking with Strictly Hip Hop in the building. Look out for that Jackrabbit volume one on that piff in every other Hey, Brittany. Hey, Brittany. Time to tell your story. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Jesse B, and you're watching StrictlyHipHop.com. I'm sitting here with the beautiful, multi-talented Brittany T. How are you? I'm doing good, and yourself? I'm doing really good. I just nice. want to say congratulations on the release Thank of your you. mixtape, Jack you so Rabbit. Much. So let's get right into it. Um, yeah. How long was this project in the making? Three weeks, mm -hmm. and that was just putting it all together because I finished the whole mixtape in one week. I basically just went in the booth and like freestyled it. I'm like, enough is enough. I'm I'm tired of waiting. I'm mm -hmm. putting the mixtape together and I'm putting it out. Where did you draw the inspiration from when you were writing, making the music? The inspiration, I actually, I had a show at King of Diamonds. Mm -hmm. And um, as I had that show at King of Diamonds and I was, and I was performing, I realized like, I have no new material. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like I'm performing, but I'm performing songs that I did last year. Okay. Because I've been doing a lot of writing. I've just been doing a lot of behind the scenes writing and things like that. And I realized, like, I'm not trying to just be a writer. You know, I do want the spotlight. Who were some of your earliest, early influences growing up? Like, what inspired you to become an artist? Definitely Lauryn Hill. Okay. Definitely, Lauryn. definitely Jay Z. I love Jay Z. Definitely uh, Little Kim. Mm -hmm. One of my biggest influences is Little Kim. Okay. For sure. I love Little Kim. So you and have Missy like Elliott. some type of affiliation with Trina too, right? Yes. Shout out to Trina. Shout out to Trina and the whole Rockstar Music Group. And did you collect? You collaborated with her before in the past. Tell yes. Us a little bit about that. Well, I was introduced to Trina by a mutual friend of ours. Mm -hmm. And they brought me in the studio with her, like, yo, this girl, like, she's really talented. You need to hear her out. Mm -hmm. And she gave me a chance, and she, I played her some of my music, and she fell in love with it. So they was like, where can we fit her in on this project that you're working in on now? Mm -hmm. So she instantly just pulled up a record, like, I think she'll sound perfect on this. That's, that's really dope. Yeah. So frenemies, let's talk about frenemies. Yes. That's a really big topic right yes, now. Yes, yes, In this generation, there's a lot of frenemies. I don't think that there's a lot of loyalty anymore. So. No, there, is, there, there isn't any loyalty. So that song is personal to you? That song is very personal, Can actually. Talk about that? What happened? Well, if you hear the if you hear on the mixtape the interlude that comes in the front of me, that's a true story. That's crazy. That really happened. I really had a friend that set me up with my first little boyfriend. Did you fight no, that's I good. didn't. I didn't you fight. Could've. I could have, yeah. but I didn't because at at that age I was very young and friends were my everything. Like I felt like friends friends meant the world to me. Mm -hmm. So she apologized and I I actually accepted her apology. And she apology did it again. And became no, she didn't do okay. that same thing, but she did something else, and mm -hmm. I, I kicked her ass that time. Yeah. You're originally from Queens, born and raised, yes. but you live in Miami. How long have you been living in Miami for, and how I've, was that experience? I've actually been living in Miami for the past five years, back and forth, mm -hmm. from New York to Miami, L.A. Just I've been, I've been traveling a lot. That's but I'm based, I'm based in Miami. I recorded my whole mixtape in Miami. I, like... Yeah, Miami is my place. What separates Britney T from any other artist that's out right now? What separates Britney T from any other artist that's out right now is just, I feel like it's originality, mm -hmm. creativity, just my whole aura, like my whole vibe. Like there's no, there, there, there's nothing, like I don't hold back nothing. That's good. You get me and, and if you don't like me, then... I, like, You're really I don't bubbly give a fuck. too, like bubbly, a <laughs> yeah. lot of personality. So I know like when you yeah. walk in a room, wherever you go, a club, yeah. a performance, people, you automatically like she has that. You have that. What do you think? What is yeah. it that has the star quality? What is star quality to you? Star like, quality to me is being able to walk in a room mm -hmm. and turn every head. Yeah. And if you walk in that room and you don't don't turn every head, by the time everybody leaves that room. They know who you are. Exactly. They seen you. They're mm -hmm. going home knowing like, yo, that girl is something about her. Yeah. Is there any difference that you see like between hip hop up here in New York and like the southern hip hop? Like in the South, they're more first and foremost in the South, they come together more. Absolutely. <laughs> out here everybody's just like, Oh, you a rapper too? My cousin's a rapper. Oh, I'm a rapper myself, or we don't care about you because we all doing our thing over here. Mm -hmm. Out there's more 
everybody comes together. You know what I'm saying? It's like unity. it's unity. There's way more unity out there than out here, and I respect that. In far as hip hop. New York, New York is hip hop. Absolutely. Like, let's just be clear. Born New raised. York, New York is hip hop. Mm -hmm. The South, they got it for the fact that they stick together. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And out here, everyone is so like. How do you whatever. think we can change? And if you could describe Britney T in three words, what would those three words be, and why? <laughs> the fucking truth. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. Thank you so much for sitting down with Strictly Hip Hop. I appreciate yes. it. Congratulations to you, Thank you on the release of your mixtape, Jack you. Ryan, Jack Rabbit. Excuse me, Jack Rabbit. It's a Volume Jack One. Rabbit. Much success to you. Thank Girl you. Girl power. Girl power. So, you know, we got to keep it strictly hip hop. You know, I, got, I, I, I can't leave this without leaving y'all with a light low 16. Y'all got to know what's up. Got, I got to give y'all a reason to download that mixtape, right? All right, I got you. I said, yo, same shit. It's funny I'm not with nobody that I came with. I guess that that's that what comes with the game shit, that lame shit, that all these niggas switch up when the fame hits. I ain't with the changes like motherfuck being famous. I love being with my gangsters. My blood niggas taught me aim it if I ever felt danger. That's how I live life. Hit licks to get by. I sip, sip, and get high. I'ma kill shit till I get signed. Kill shit till I get signed. Then yo bitch gon' dick cry. Oh, the aura could make your bitch buy. Yo, order, order that bitch some water. That thirsty bitch dry. Forgive me for my sins. Lord, I've been on my bullshit. Blood clot, devil is a lie. That nigga truthless. I'm just really ruthless, like the top on the coupe. Y'all know who got that fire, who's splitting fluid. I proved it, I'ma lose it.